Alright guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and this is going to be an unboxing of the HPI Racing Baja Q32. Now this is a tiny, tiny little buggy, and I was kind of checking out some of the new ones that um, uh, was released right before Christmas 2015, and I kind of always went back to this little Q32 Baja version. Now they did release a uh, Ty Tessman edition uh, kind of truggy version, but I'm just drawn to the Baja for some reason. Now, of course, the Baja is based on HPI's huge one-fifth scale uh, vehicle, but this is all wrapped up in a tiny little one-thirty-second scale package. And you can kind of see by the, the box here, this thing is tiny. I mean, when I got this in, I, I just couldn't believe how tiny the box was that included not only the car, the remote, the little ramp there, and all sorts of other little goodies. So... Pretty cool little uh, uh, buggy here, and I can't wait to show you guys some running video of this. So in this video, we're going to check out what you get inside the box, go over some of the specs, and why you should purchase this one other than some of the cheap little $30 uh, imitation ones on the market. So with that, let's go ahead and crack this thing open, take a look around the box here. So um, you do get the jump inside here, and I know that there's a bunch of templates available on HPI.com to actually... Um, cut out different versions of their jumps and circles and whatnot. And I'm also going to link up in the upper right hand corner of the video um, HPI's version of this video that they showed some pretty cool little tricks they did um, over in their warehouse. So, um, But of course you get the HPI Q32. The little ramp is included in here. Um, you do get the TF60 remote which if you followed some of my videos I have said that the TF40, uh, the one that came with some of the uh, the Sprint 2s, is my all-time favorite RTR remote. Just has all the bells and whistles you'd want on an RTR. So this is actually shown in actual size. Check that out. It's just teeny tiny. So on over here to the back side shows kind of the remote uh, in perspective to the actual vehicle. I mean, just teeny tiny. So let's go ahead and crack this thing open and see what you get inside the box here. So I'm um, going to go ahead and open this tiny little shoe box size of a box. Very tiny box. And it looks like we get some decals immediately. So we've got a whole package of things. We have decals right here. Teeny tiny of course. Owner's manual. Looks like you get some uh, different uh, paraphernalia from HPI. Let's crack this thing open. Already checking out the uh, the buggy in the, the foreground down there. Check that that little thing there. Uh, also going to do a comparison to my um, Hot Bodies D413 later on in this video. So there's the decals. Looks like we get an instruction manual. Everything's teeny tiny like an airport bathroom. <laughs> this looks like to be a kit car just to register your uh, vehicle. I mean, this is a, a legitimate hobby-grade vehicle. This is definitely not a toy, so important information here from HPI, of course. And with that, I mean, there's a whole array of not only replacement parts, but also option parts that you can get for your Q32s, which just make it that, that hobby-grade. And that's what's different between a hobby-grade and a toy-grade. So right here, we're seeing, I'm assuming this is the ramp right here. I need to kind of inspect that a little bit more. Uh, but let's go ahead and undo this guy here. Look at this thing. God, this thing is teeny tiny. All right, off to the side with that. Let's see what else we get inside the package here. Don't want to kind of destroy the ramp here. This looks to be a, a pretty cool little design. And I'm going to go ahead and pause, and I'll be right back. All right, so I went ahead and got everything kind of out of the included ramp, and I actually didn't think that it would just flip over, but it actually does. So on the underside here is where everything was stored, and now this will be your included ramp, which is pretty cool that they did include that. You know, it just kind of thinks outside the box, so to speak. So um, with that, you have pretty much everything here, the controller, the little Q32 buggy. You get some of these little plastic discs here to kind of make your own little course, uh, maybe at work or school or whatnot. You get a couple of tabs of Velcro, probably just to keep the body um, onto the vehicle. 
And then right here you do get the body, and this has a body and also a wing. These are Lexan, and they are professionally painted actually. There's still um, the over uh, film on this, so it was actually painted uh, black and then actually coated um, with like a white backer on the backside. So real quality item here. This is not some cheap imitation. And of course the stickers I pointed out earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the body assembled um, and get the stickers put on and show you the final product. All right, so I went ahead and got the body all decaled up and got the Velcro and double-sided tape installed on it. So it's pretty much ready to go now. Now, if you refer over to uh, page 15 of the owner's manual, it tells you exactly how to put the stickers on. They're all uh, labeled very uh, uh, decently. And um, the Velcro actually goes for the body right here. And then you get some double-sided tape for the actual wing. So that's going to be pretty much a permanent fixture until you're ready to replace it if you need to down the line. So um, with that, the body, uh, make sure you take off the overspray film. This is a true painted body. So you will have this kind of um, uh, clear film that's on the outside of it. Go ahead and peel that off and then you're ready to start putting the stickers on it. So stickers went on pretty easy. You just have to, you know, be careful of the scale. They are very tiny. So I used an X-Acto knife just to um, place them onto the, the actual body and then placing them was pretty easy. So let's take a look at the actual car. This thing is pretty cool. I've been kind of getting used to um, all the different features of it here uh, in the studio and this thing is just so tiny. I'm going to do a comparison to a 110 scale and also show you the differences on the remote to a regular sized remote. Um, so with this, you do get plastic wheels. These are foam tires, so they should last pretty long, give you pretty good grip for the scale of vehicle that it is. Now, the one cool thing about this uh, Q32 is it has full proportional steering, and what that means is you get actual hobby-grade steering in this tiny little car. They are pinned drives on all of the ends. You do get non-adjustable kind of steering links right here, and the front suspension is basically the um, suspension of the arms. There's kind of like a thin point, and that's what actually gives you the kind of give and take of the front arms. Now on the other side of the steering, you do get a trim setting right there to trim it uh, either left or right. Bottom right here, you do get an on-off switch, and on the side over here is actually where you would charge it. Now the charging of this thing is actually done by the AA batteries in the remote. I'll show you that a little bit later here. Now to the back side, you do get full um, sprung suspension right there. You can kind of see that rear spring kind of peeking back there. And the whole rear end is kind of on a, a huge kind of trailing type arm. Huge rear tires, also foam, and you do get to see that uh, rear uh, motor right there. Looks to be that the battery is probably housed on the inside right there. It's some kind of rechargeable battery, not sure of that. Get a little LED light. And then finally, you do get an antenna, which they do recommend to have it kind of in that arced forward position underneath the body, so you don't want to have that thing protruding out. So went ahead and double side stuck that down. Let's go ahead and stick the body on. That just does by the Velcro that's included in the kit. And that is fully on now. So kind of get used to the Velcro, you know, once you get it on and off a few times. So there is the Baja. Look at that tiny little thing. Pretty cool. Let's take a look at the remote. This is the TF60. Very small remote, but it fits my hand perfectly. So they still left the scale of the handle. Just made everything else smaller. So you see right here, uh, forward, uh, reverse, and neutral. You get a nice foamed wheel. This is a hobby grade remote. You got to remember that. This is, you know, a teeny tiny uh, little vehicle. You still get a decent uh, remote. On off switch, you get a bind button, some LED lights for charging and power. You do get a uh, little toggle switch here, or uh, dial switch. Not sure what that's for yet. This is going to be for the charging of the vehicle. This would just basically get plugged into the vehicle go straight into charge mode and you're able to charge the vehicle. Now this does take um, four AA batteries that are not included. They just pop right inside there. Just regular alkaline batteries will do the trick. So let's do some comparisons. I can't wait for this. So right here, this is the TF60. I pulled out my MT4 Airtronics uh, control just to give you a size difference. Huge difference in size, but the TF60 still fits your hand really well, and it's a hobby-grade remote. Now for the um, star of the show, the Q32. Let's compare that up to a 110 scale um, 
uh, D413 from Hot Bodies. Wanted to keep it in the family here with HPI and wanted to give you kind of a comparison right there. So there is the one tenth scale, and that is the tiny little one thirty second scale. It is teeny tiny, but nonetheless a very nice hobby grade item. You kind of see right there. Look at that thing. One tenth scale, one thirty second scale. So, well guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little unboxing here of the Q32. I can't wait to get it out and make some little ramps and whatnot. Get this thing going, show you what it can do. And in the end, I'll do a review in the third video, so stay tuned for that. If you have any comments or questions, please post them on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.